And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. Now, if you're a Teton basketball fan, you know that center Abby Adidu was pretty raw when he took the floor for Sean Neary, but the native of London, England, worked hard the offseason and became a very solid sophomore for first-year head coach Alex Herman. He wasn't afraid to step out and knock down a big three or grab a clutch rebound inside or, yes, drive the middle. How do you think you've improved as a basketball player from your freshman year? Um, I'd say my post ability has gotten a lot better and my ability to read the defense has definitely gotten better. I, I'm averaging less charges against me this year, so that's always nice. You want to keep on playing hoops, right? Of course, yes. How have you enjoyed your two years here? Um, my two years at Williston have been great. You know, being from London, I'm not really used to the cold, but, you know, I've started getting used to it. All right, solid numbers. He played in 31 games for Alex, averaged 15.4 points a game, seven rebounds, 217 for the season with 18 blocks. We wish him the best. Now, he did not make the all-conference team, but sophomore Shaheed Muhammad did. He was a second-team selection, and this native of Arden Hills, Minnesota, was steady every night, easily their most consistent scorer on a very young team. He played 28 games, averaged 17.6 points a game, scored 493 in the season. He nailed 83 threes. And boy, Teton fans definitely knew that. He's only 5'11", pulled down 136 rebounds, and he enjoyed his time, but he wanted to win more games, but he still enjoyed his time here. Have you enjoyed your time here? Um, you know, it's it's been a mix of emotions, you know. The season has definitely had its ups and downs, but being here, you know, being with the guys, it's been a good experience for me, I think. You want to keep on playing hoops, right? Yes, that's that's a plan after this year. I wish him the best, both of those young men. UND hockey team putting together a nice run. They won back-to-back -back games over the weekend to get to the NCHC frozen faceoff, and they're doing it with defense. Um, I think, I think early on we just left a lot of guys open in front and stuff, kind of like that. And um, I think we've just kind of put a focus on that. We spent a lot of time watching video and and just focusing on that. And everyone just have their head on a swivel. You can't get focused on the puck too much, and you just got to know where your guy is. He's a classic goalie, hot hand, and that's certainly what you need if you're going to make a long run. It doesn't matter the level of hockey. They will take on St. Cloud on Friday in St. Paul at 7.37 p.m. College softball from last night. Dawson gets the Lady Tetons in Arizona. Final there was 7-zip. And the State B, of course. Gets underway on Thursday in Bismarck. Always a great event. Shiloh Christian gets there for the sixth year in a row. But next year, they've got to uh, take the leap to Class A. They're the second seed. And, of course, they'll take on Powers Lake BC from our region. They're a good club. They want to win that state title and bring it home. Beulah also will make the jump to A. They're the third seed. Medina Pingree Buchanan. They'll be taking on that club, hoping to throw the upset. 2.45 p.m. Central Cass is the top seed. They have to go to Class A next year. They'll be taking on Warwick, 6.30 p.m. And, of course, Warwick was the club that beat four wins. So, you know, they have some talent. The defending champs, the Thompson Tommies, will make the leap next year to Class A. They're the fourth seed. And uh, the Lakers uh, make the jump as well. So that's an interesting matchup. Let's take a timeout. 